Hey guys. All right, so in today's video, we're going to cover, again, intro to geometry. We're gonna be dealing with complementary and supplemental angles. So yesterday, we kind of started talking about it. Um, we were talking about, you know, putting two angles together. We were talking about how angles like that are next to each other or like, you know, vertical to each other, how those, you know, angles work. So today we're going to be dealing again, putting angles together. So what should you be able to do? I can solve for the missing angle and complementary and supplementary angles. So what is a complementary angle? It's two angles coming together. And when I add those two angles up, it's going to equal 90 degrees. For supplemental, um, you're going to add them both together and it's going to be 180 degrees. So complementary, it's 90 degrees supplementary it's 180 degrees all right so complementary it'll look like a uh, 90 degree right angle like a right angle supplementary will look like a line all right so just like i just mentioned if i'm dealing with complementary i'm going to add angle one add angle two that should create a right angle which would give me 90 degrees supplementary is a straight line also known as linear um so if i add angle one and angle two it'll give me 180 degrees hi hi sorry my daughter's here <laughs> all right so for the example for complementary write an equation then solve for the missing angle so here is my image i do not know what this angle is going to be that's the reason why there's an x however i do know that this is 56 degrees so how can i figure out what this missing angle is going to be well what is the total of a right angle we just talked about it so i'll give you a second what does this all equal that's right that's right it's uh, it's 90 degrees good job so if i add the angle I don't know, plus the 56, it should give me 90 degrees. So again, this is a one-step equation. So think back, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. I'm going to subtract both sides by 56 degrees. When I do that, my 56 both cross out. I'm left with x. 90 minus 56 gives me 34. So my answer is going to be 34. Again, for your homework, I all I want to see in your assignment is x plus 56 equals 90. And then here you'll write the actual answer. All of this work will go into your notebook. All right, let's do a supplementary. Write an equation, uh, an equation then solve for the missing angle. So this is 127 degrees. I don't know what this angle is. So what does this whole thing equal? We just talked about it. Well, not just, because this was 90. What was this? This is a straight line. Lines equal 180 degrees. That's right. So what I will do, x plus 127 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 127 from both sides. So I do um i my 127s go away i'm left with 180 minus 127 and that'll give me 56. so my missing angle is 56. so again in your homework you'll write x plus 127 equals 180 in the line and then your answer will be 56. super easy so all of this stuff should be kind of a review on how to do it obviously the vocabulary might not be you know um known but the math that goes along with it, that you guys should be able to do. So again, do you have to copy this page down? No, you don't. It's just so that you guys can have an extra, like, all together idea of what um, the key concepts look like. So complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90. Each angle is called the complement of the other. So angle one plus angle two, gives me the whole angle, which equals 90. Um, supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180. So sum means to add. Each angle is called the supplement of the other. So if I add angle three and angle four, that should give me 180 degrees. 
All right, the linear postul um, pair postulate. This is a rule. So this rule says if two angles form a linear pair, meaning that they draw a straight line, then they are supplementary. So if I take one angle and I take another angle, and when I put them together, they make a straight line, then they are supplementary. Let me move you down here. So identifying angle pairs. Use the diagram shown. Is the statement true? And explain. So this should look similar because we've done something just like this. So tell me now which ones are complementary. So we talked last um, yesterday which ones were vertical and which ones were adjacent. Now we're going to be talking about which ones are complementary and which ones are supplementary. Sorry, my daughter's making weird faces over there. Don't make duck faces. So a, F, and E. A, F, E, and B, F, and C. So we're dealing with the 62 and the 28. Are those complementary to each other? So the, uh, what you want to think, put into your brain, think back, way back. What does complementary mean? I forgot. No, you did it. Or just click back. Click, 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 click. So it, all it means is that it adds up to 90 degrees. So, okay, if I take 62 plus 28, does that give me 90? It does. So are they complementary? Yes. Since I can add both of them, even though they are not right next to each other, that doesn't matter. But because both of the uh, both of the angles, once they put them together, they equal ninety degrees, then it is complementary. Ah, there, we're good. Everything's good. Saved it. It's fine. All right. So again, it is complementary because if I add it and add it, it gives me ninety. Even though they're not right next to each other, it doesn't matter as long as when I add them together, it gives me ninety degrees. So angle addition postulate. If point B is in the interior of AOC, then if I add the orange part plus the blue part, it should give me the whole thing, which is what we've already been covering the last couple of days anyways. So if I take one piece plus another piece, it should give me the, the whole piece together. So I know if Measure. So when you see this little M right here, you see this little M right there, right there. That's saying um, in your brain, saying measure or measure, however you say measure. So if measure of angle RQT equals 155, so RQT. So this whole angle right here is 155. I want to know what this angle is and what this angle is. So note, note, listen, or read, read. Is it asking me to find X and that's it? No. Bad student. Bad student. It's saying the whole thing. All right. So it's telling you this whole thing is 155. It wants to know right here, what is this angle and what is this angle? Do not just solve for X and then walk away. That's bad. So add both of the angles together. All right, so substitute. What is RQS? Well, RQS is 4X minus 20. All right. What is TQS? Well, TQS is this part right here. That's 3X plus 14. And this whole thing, again, if I read my directions, because, you know, I read directions, it equals 155. All right, cool. So, so far, so good. Now, we do need to find X, because we can't do anything without finding X. So. Let's find X. Now, think back. We need 
to add everything that we have in common. So all of our like terms, we're gonna add them together. So that means all the numbers that have an X go together. All the numbers that don't have an X go together. But I can't mix them together, all right? We need to keep the people who are the same together. So I know math is all about segregation, man. It's like so bad. So use the associative and commutative properties. What are alike? So what numbers have an X? Well, I have a 4X and I have a 3X. Awesome. All right. What else are the same? I have a negative 20 and a positive 14. And then the negative 55 just, or 155 stays over there. All right. So think 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 gives me 7X. Don't forget the X. Need to remember the X. Now, negative 20 plus 14. I owe you $20. And then I give you 14. How much do I still owe you? So I, I, I borrow 20. I give you 14. I owe you six. Since I still owe you, then it's going to be negative. And then just bring down the 155. Now we have a two-step equation. This is what we did back last year in eighth grade. So we're going to do two steps. One, we need to get rid of this negative six first. The X is always the last thing that we're going to touch. So we need to get rid of this negative six. We always do the opposite. So instead of a negative six, we're going to be adding six to both sides. Oh my goodness. My sixes, where are they? Oh geez. Oh no, my computer's dying too. All right, there should be a negative six somewhere. Oh my God, it was, it's gone. All right, so I, I can write it. it it's, it's, not, it's not lost. Wait, oh God, it's, it's all over. Pretend there's a neg an add six here and an add six here. Oh God, what happened to it? <laughs> then I divide both of these by seven and I get X equals 23. All right, then I'm gonna continue to the next one. All right, so take this, X equals tw and 23, and we're gonna go off to the next slide because I ran out of space, all right? So take this, X equals negative three, uh, 23. All right, so I wanna solve for RQ. So I'm gonna put 23 into this X right here. So I'm gonna substitute it. Four times 23, well, four times 30, 23 is 92. 92 minus 20 is 72. So RQS, that's 72. Now let's do TQS. So 3X, remember X was 23. So take 23. So three times 23 is 69. Shut up. 69 plus 14, 83. All right, there we go. So we found what we were looking for. So the measure of angle RQS equals 72, and the measure of TQS equals 83. All right, finally, that took forever. Sorry, I was goofing around, but we finally did it. All right, so remember, I wasn't just looking for X. I needed both of those angles, not just the X. All right, so press pause, well, not yet, and you are going to do this one on your own. So do the exact same thing. 11X minus 12 plus 2X plus 10, all of that is going to equal, it's a straight line. So think back, what does a straight line equal? So what's the degrees of a straight line? Think about it. If you can't figure it out, it's 180 degrees. So you're going to set it equal to 180 degrees and solve. I want the answers to this and that. So D, E, C and C, E, F. Um, I'm going to count to five and then I'm gonna show you guys the answer. So one, two, three, four, five. The answer is D. All right, you could have also double checked that because this doesn't equal 180 and that one doesn't equal 180 and that one doesn't equal 180. That's the only one that equals 180. Wait, 
oh no, this one equals 180, but they're not in the right spot. So, ah, tricky, tricky. But other than that, that's it for today. Hopefully you had fun um, or, you know, learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.